Welcome to Sean's Journey Through Life. This is your girl, Sean. I am sitting out here on my patio, enjoying my evening. Um, I told you guys I was going to be more consistent on my channel. And yesterday, I just couldn't, I don't know. But I, I work from home, so it's very easy to get lazy working from home. Well, I work from home so many days. And so, today I work from home also. And when I tell you, I am lazy. But I did cook dinner. I made cheeseburgers. Uh, I've kept up with the Young Thug trial. How many of you guys are watching the Young Thug trial? Like, do not, if you can hear me, do not move to Fulton County. Because Fulton County is corrupt. The judge is dirty. The judge before her was dirty. The prosecution team is dirty. I mean, they. It's one thing if Young Thug is guilty and the rest of them is guilty. Try them, you know, try them the correct way. Like, don't play games with people's lives. You know what I'm saying? If they're guilty, they're guilty. Okay, bring in the evidence. And try them like that. Don't make up stuff. Don't play dirty. And when I tell you the whole time I've been watching it, starting with Glanville, now it's Paige Whitaker. I mean, you know what? When Paige took over, Glanville must have said, no matter what, no matter what goes down, do not miss trial. No matter what, stay the course, see this through. He had to have. Because so many things have popped up that should have been a mistrial. And she just rolling right through it. Like, dirty. I don't I don't even understand it. I don't understand how, like, it seemed like the Supreme Court of in Georgia should get should step in and say, no, this is not how law, this is not how justice is handled. This is not how you, you know, you don't just screw over people. If they are guilty, try them in a court of law, present the evidence and, and get them that way. But Dirty, underhanded. I don't understand. I hope none of my people and, and, and people who are not my people, if you guys are in Fulton County, you need to move because, baby, if your sons or your daughters go to jail, they're getting railroaded. It, it's horrible. I'm so. And I remember I wanted to move to Atlanta. Or, you know, years ago, I wanted to move to Atlanta, but. No, thank you, because I have two sons, and, you know, not saying, because think about it. What about the people who they have tried who was innocent, but you wanted to, you wanted to, you wanted a, a, a win, so you, 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 you played dirty. I don't know. No, no, no. No, some people make mistakes. So some people actually make mistakes. And so for the mistake, I got to sit here and go to jail for life because you a dirty DA, you a, you a dirty ADA, you a dirty chief ADA, you, you dirty, plus the judge is dirty. Mm -mm. No. So this trial has been going on forever. When Grant, when Glanville was over it, they, they had comfort breaks that would last hours upon hours. So I know Fulton County, I know the state of Georgia is in debt with this trial. And yet, they're going to see it through because they wanted Young Thug. They wanted him just that bad. And it's horrible. It is so horrible. Like, my heart go out to him. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not... Trust me, I'm I'm saying I'm letting you guys know that I'm saying if they if they did it if they if they did the crime, try them the legal way. Try them with without you know being underhanded and dirty. You know what I'm saying? Try them the right way. You know, I I don't get it. I just I don't get it. So. <laughs> Guess I'm just gonna continue to sit on my porch and rant and rave. But I do have good good news for my fam, for my because you guys are not subscribers, you guys are my family, right? 
I got approved for my home. So I am moving and I am going to document and bring you guys along, you know, when I go and look at homes and um, because I want to be settled. I will be settled before Thanksgiving so I can fix my first meal in my new home. And I'm just so happy and blessed. And, you know, I just want to encourage one person. Whether you single or married, if you have always wanted to own a home and it's been hard, you don't, you know, maybe not make enough money or whatever. Let me tell you some God will bless you. God, wherever you fall short, just know God can make up the difference and will make up the difference for you. He will. Because let me tell you something. He made up the difference for me. Because when I tell you I don't make buku money, I make enough to live. But, you know, look at this housing market. And, baby, when I tell you God did his big one with a little bit of something, a, a little bit of something from me, right? So I would encourage anyone, if your dream is to own a home, you want home ownership, you know, you don't want to keep living in apartments, you know, or whatever, pray about it. Pray about it. When I tell you God listens, he listens, he hears, you know. A lot of times he wants us to come before him and say, hey, you know, hey, God, please help me. You know, he, a lot of times he's waiting on us. We're not waiting on him. He's waiting on us. And I'm a true witness of that. But I will tell you this. Um, I've told my story 50 million times, but, you know, I'm single now. I was married, but my husband passed away. And... You know, um, I still ended up, you know, had two kids that were fairly, you know, they weren't old, you know, they were teenager and well, a teenager and like 12 years old at the time. But yeah, I, you know, I've had my struggles. I've had, you know, you know, I mean, I, I will tell you this God is good. And when I close on my home, you know. After I come down from shouting and crying and snotting all over the place, <laughs> you know, I'm going to make sure I show you guys, you know, I'll give you guys a tour because God has been good. And that's what I say. If you want a home, go for it. Don't let nobody talk you against it. If you if you want to start a YouTube channel, if you want extra money, if you want to start a TikTok, whatever you want to do, do it. Don't let don't let what somebody else not doing stop you. You know what I'm saying? Um, because maybe you're the only one with the dream. Maybe you're the only one who want extra money. Maybe you're the only one, you know, see a way out. Don't, you know, shorten yourself or shortchange yourself because, oh, don't nobody else in your family have a YouTube channel. So, don't nobody else in your family, uh, they don't have a TikTok. So, they don't, you know what I'm saying? You, okay, you different. Anytime you want more out of life and the people around you don't, you were built different. That's all. You were just built different. You know, I don't have to settle because you settled, right? I'm And I'm not, and you shouldn't either, you know? You shouldn't either. You shouldn't either. You shouldn't have to settle, you know? If they don't want it, they don't want it. But I am excited because... <sighs> Finally, I have convinced my son and his girlfriend to start their own channel because couples, couple channels are hot right now. It, they've been hot for a couple years, right? Finally, I have convinced them today. So, in the near future, look out for them. I don't even know what name they're trying to gonna be, but once I find out the name, guys, you know I'm gonna be posting it and, and telling you all, please go and support. Because I just see, I see a better life for them. I actually see it, you know. And a lot of times we do see it for our kids. We see more than what they can see, right? Um, and I'm excited about it. I've been praying about it, you know, talking to God about it. And that's what I'm going to tell you. A lot of things that's on your mind, ideals, dreams, talk to God about it. Talk to God about it. That's that what that's what I want to tell you today. Talk to God about it. 
because he can do something about it. He can steer you in the right direction. He can help you formulate a plan. He can help you talk to God about it. Amen. I'm just I'm just saying I'm I'm so excited to be back on my channel. I'm excited to be talking to you all like I'm going to have to get back in the groove of it. Um but again for y'all who didn't know this is Sean's journey through life. I am your girl Sean and I will consistently start back uh vlogging and uploading um what do you guys think about them arresting Diddy? I'm going to have to come back with that. They arrested him with a thousand bottles of baby oil. What's happening, Diddy? <laughs> Ooh, hush my mouth and keep on talking, right? I, I, I know that's going to be a mess. I know that's going to be a mess, mess, mess. A mess. But anywho... Thank you guys for look, watching my video. Again, this is your girl, Sean. This is Sean's Journey Through Life. And I hope you guys have an awesome, amazing, wonderful evening. And I will see you all in my next video. Sean's Journey out. Bye.